Today's lesson is 4.2, finding the derivative at a general point, and that's on pages 169 to 177 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of differentiation based on slope as a rate of change. And our lesson objective today, there's only one, is to be able to use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of a function at a general point, which we're going to be calling x comma f of x. So last lesson, we were given a specific x value, which allowed us to find its corresponding y value. So for example, we knew that it was like x equals 3, we could plug it into our function and we could find out the y value. But today we're going to look at the derivative at any point, and at any point would then be x comma f of x. So here's we're going to do our example, it says find the derivative of f prime x, remember that's what the derivative is, of the function of f of x equals x squared. Well, if we're going to find f prime x, then we're going to use this limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now, as the limit approaches, or of h approaches 0, um, f of x plus h, instead of x in our function, we're going to put in an x plus h, so that makes it x plus h squared. And f of x is just x squared, so we're going to leave that as x squared, and that's all over h. So as the limit approach of h approaches 0, we square x plus h, which is just x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h and then we can do some cancelling with the x squared and the negative x squared so we get the limit as h approaches zero of these two things cancel each other out which leaves us with 2xh plus h squared and that's all over h now we can start cancelling out h's so this h here and that h there and one of those h's cancels out and we get the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. And now if h approaches 0, that means our limit, or our derivative, is 2x. And all that means is with this normal parabola, that looks like this, we can now find the slope at any point. So if we said x equals 1, or if x equals 2, or if x equals 3, if x equals 4, we can just plug that x value in there, and we can see how the slope of the tangent line changes at each value of x. So if we said x equals 1, then the slope at this point is going to be 2. The slope at x equals 2 is going to be 4. The slope at x equals 3 is going to be 6, etc, etc, etc. So example, find the derivative of f prime of x of the function f of x equals 4x cubed plus 2x. We're still using the limit to do this. So the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So we need to just follow function notation, which says we're going to put an x plus h in instead of this x and that x. So we still have the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus h cubed plus 2x plus h. And then the important thing to remember is that we need to subtract the original function. So we have to subtract 4x cubed plus 2x. A lot of people will forget to do that. Um, please don't do that because you need to get this question right. So. We get the limit as h approaches 0. We need to be able to cube x plus h before we multiply it by 4. So if you multiply x plus h by itself three times, you get x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed. And then we also have 2 times x plus h, so we have 2x plus 2h. And we have negative 4x cubed and a negative 2x. That being said, now we need to multiply this 4 in, and then we'll see if there's any terms that can cancel each other out, which there will be. If there isn't, then you've probably done something wrong. So we get 4x cubed plus 12x squared h plus 12xh squared plus 4h cubed plus 2x plus 2h minus 4x cubed minus 2x, and that's all over h still. Now, um, we've got a 4x cubed over here, and we have a negative 4x cubed there, so they cancel each other out entirely. We have a 2x and a negative 2x, and they cancel each other out entirely. And what we're left with is a term, each of these terms, each has an h in it. So that means with this h in the bottom, we can now cancel, it, cancel out one h in each of these terms. So that h, one of those h's, one of those h's, which is, leaves us with h squared, and that h all cancel out with the h in the bottom. So what we're left with before we plug in h equals 0 
is 12x squared plus 12xh plus 4h squared plus 2. So now as h approaches 0, that means we can plug in a 0 for any h's that are left. And we get that and that canceling out because that's just 0 and 0. So in the end, f prime x, or our derivative, is 12x squared plus 2. So for a function that looks like a cubic function, um, it's a little bit more work to find the derivative, as for today anyway. Tomorrow we'll find a very easy way to do it. But for today, we'll have to use this longer way. Um, but as we plug in any value for x on this curve, we'll be able to find the slope of the tangent line at that point. So in summary, we can use the definition of the derivative to find the equation for the slope f prime of x. So not just a number for the slope, but the equation for the slope. And the benefit of doing this is that it will work for any value of x that we plug into it for that specific curve, so that specific function. And just be careful with your algebra, and the h in the denominator will always cancel out. So if you're careful with your algebra, everything will always cancel out. It makes, uh, not everything, but most things will cancel out. It makes your life a whole lot easier. So our assignment is on pages 175 to 177. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you in class.